Hi right, folks, we're going to carry on with some more maintenance issues. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, bearings. And a bearing, you're going to find bearings in a lot of parts. Anything with a moving shaft or spindle of some sort, uh, there's probably going to be bearings, um, either friction, anti-friction bearings or sleeve bearings. And uh, what they do is they prevent, minimize the heat buildup that can occur in a, between a shaft and a at a, um, a mounting bracket or something like that. They usually install a bearing to help uh, um, minimize that heat buildup and, and just make things run a little smoother. If we can run them a little bit smoother, we min minimize any vibrations or anything like that that's gonna cause problems in our machines. Um, so when it comes to anti-friction bearings, there are two different styles. We have a ball bearing and we have a cylinder bearing. Um, and if you maybe just move forward there, Lori. The ball bearing is actually graded in an A to E scale. A being the most, um, uh, the higher the grade of a bearing. So this is a, a ball bearing. This is a quite a common one. You'll see that around the shop and in your, in your uh, different pieces of equipment. This is for carrying heavier loads. This is what they call a cylinder bearing. And you'll see a cylinder there. It's a little bit broader. Um, and uh, like I said, it's designed to carry a heavier load. And then we're going to move into more anti-friction bearings. This one is a tapered bearing, and this allows adjustments where high accuracy is required. And we also have a needle bearing, used where space is at a premium. Uh, care and removing so they don't fall off. This, so this is a very fragile type of bearing. I've removed a couple of these over the years and uh, quite often when, when they do come out uh, there is an issue with these spin, these little um, needles that they tend to, to fall out of place if they're not secured by the, by their, the outer race. Um, and we'll explain that in just a second. So when it comes to bearings there are different parts on that bearing. We have uh, the inner race, which makes contact with, the, with this uh, shaft or the spindle. That's the inner race. Then you have the roller, and then you have the outer race. The outer race is the, is the uh, fits the housing in the, in the mounting bracket or wherever it's going. The inner race is actually designed to fit the shaft. So when you get wear on these things, it's usually the inner race. There's a certain amount of wear can happen, and possibly some some wear on the balls. But more often than not, it's a it's an issue with wear a wear point on that inner race uh, that's going to cause that bearing to uh, to fail. Um, so again, you have a ball bearing, you got a, a cylinder bearing or a roller bearing. We've got an inner race and an outer race. Parts of the anti-friction bearings. Needle bearings offer lack both the inner race and the separator. So here you can see this being that needle bearing. That's that shield around the outside of it. That's called the outer race. Uh, the inner race usually is not in, uh, part of this. Uh, the spindle or the shaft actually ride right on those needles. 